Hi, my name is Joe. The PoE is limited to 100 meters, it's about 300 feet. Sometimes we may need to run the cable beyond 300 feet. In this case, we can use this PoE standard. One PoE standard can repeat the PoE for another 300 feet, so totally we got 600 feet. If it be five, we just got one or two IP cameras. But sometimes we may need to have multiple wrong runs. In this case, if you think to get messy after you add the PoE standard to each of the links, imagine you, you got 10 links for the wrong runs. You need to add 10 pieces of PoE standard at the middle of these cables. We will increase the time to diagnose if anything goes wrong. One of the features of the PoE standard can settle this problem. When two of these PoE standards working together, we got 1,000 feet continue run between these two. So we can place the first PoE standard on the rock and second PoE standard on the edge and only leave the 1,000 cable between these two. It's pretty nice, right? Now let's see how we set up this PoE standard on the rock. Here we got four PoE standards attached to the main PoE switch by using this short punch code. The tricky thing to install the first PoE standard is you need to make sure the output port, the, B, the port B is facing to your PoE switch. You can see all the output port is facing to the PoE switch. From the other side, we got the continue run. Also, this PoE standard supports the snap and combine, so it's very easy to add the more PoE standard or replace the old one. Let me just get a new one. Okay, I need to make sure that port B is facing to the PoE switch. So what I need to do just snap and that will be it, right? It's quite easy. Then got another short punch code to link the new PoE standard to the PoE switch. Okay, you can add more PoE standard as the space is enough. Now let's move to the edge. Here we also got four PoE standard. Only two of these PoE standard is being used by the IP camera. So leave us two PoE standard we can use in future. We can connect more IP cameras, access point, even via IP phone. The one thing different is you can see for the second PoE standard, the output port must face to the edge device. That means we don't need to flick the second PoE standard. The input is input, the output is output. But remember for the first PoE standard, we need to flick so the output will face to the PoE switch. And we also use the ding ring mount to mount this PoE standard. It's quite easy to add more PoE standard. Just need to make the longer ding rate. That will be it. The secret to achieve the long run is because we do have the long run chipset built into this PoE standard. So when two of these working together, we got 1000 continuous run between the first PoE standard and the second PoE standard. Actually, you still can have about 300 feet from the second PoE standard to the edge device. That means your IP camera access point doesn't have to just stay next to your second PoE standard. It could be 300 feet far away. Alright, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post in the comment section below. See you next time.